What is up, YouTube? It's been a minute since we did a video, so I thought I'd do a quick rundown video of uh, the new lawn care setup and uh, something else we have going here in Hawaii. Um, so I didn't bring my box trailer here to Hawaii. Uh, it's actually in storage back in the States. So I ended up getting this uh, open trailer like this. It was about $1,000 or so from um, Home Depot. It's not fancy. I stay in the wood myself, so but it holds everything as you see. Started with the sign. My wife made the sign. She's got a cricket machine, so she's able to do this kind of stuff. So that's the sign I've got for advertising. Got this new Honda mower. It's new to us. Someone threw it away and I was able to fix that through a new bearing in the uh, clutch. And now the uh, blades engage like they're supposed to. And I've been using it ever since. It's missing the uh, side panel to the key up there, the battery box, I believe it is. I just threw some cardboard, as you can see, over it, taped it up, and it keeps the dust and everything out of it. It works fine. Uh, that is an HRX217, if you're wondering. I've got the uh, weed eater rack on this. Got the Echo we've had. The uh, PAS225. Up here, I've got the made box. Just holds everything in. Got the edger. Still got the 30-inch Toro Time Master. Got it up here. Still got the steel blower, the BR350. And yes, I am pulling the trailer with the mini van. I installed, in, installed a uh, tow package on the van to be able to do this because we, we do not have an extra vehicle here right now other than the minivan and the two motorcycles that you see out there on the road. Um, so that is our lawn care setup that we have going right now. And as some of y'all uh, know and some don't know, is I only do this on the weekends for lawn care right now because I am active doing military and I'm busy during the week with that. So I keep this on the weekends and then once I'm out or whatever happens, I'll do it on, you know, full, full time. This is just building up, getting uh, to know how to do everything the proper way before we just jump in and get in over our heads. So this is the lawn care setup, like I said, and then I told you guys we got something else going on, so I'm gonna turn around and show you what is happening behind me. So we are also doing a garage. We're calling it Valhalla Garage. Um, something I've been interested in for a while to just do mechanic work. We uh, bought a 89 Ranger when I first got here on island we had it for a month or so as we're going to get it running good and um we didn't notice the rust that's on the door hinges of this truck until it was too late when we first bought it it was definitely there we just we didn't think to look so if you buy a used car make sure you check it out pretty good don't be like me uh we dropped like i think it was like three grand on this truck too and then we ended up eating that money i think we sold that truck for a 100 bucks to a scrapyard but the the uh Rust had to eat the hinges off, and then the doors literally fell off the truck. So don't be like me. Check out your vehicles. I'm going to give you a quick rundown of everything we have going over here for the mechanic work. And then y'all let me know if y'all want to see some videos of us doing that. And then we might start a channel, another channel or just throw them on here. And then y'all can either watch the mechanic videos or the lawn care videos, whatever you guys prefer and whatever y'all want to do. So I'll start here. Oh yeah, we still got our uh, pressure washer for the lawn care business too. But um, got my car ramps, got stuff on it. Um, my creeper, my cobalt air compressor. Pretty much a catch-all toolbox because my main one is this. So I'm gonna run through this one real quick. So as you see the junk on top, miscellaneous tools, oil filter, wrench, and then this drawer, just catch-all basically. Got some tire patches. Um, as you see, some random hinges. These are actually, I was gonna rig the truck so we can use it for lawn care. I was gonna put these on the doors of that truck just to use it, but that did not work. I ended up getting rid of it before I did that. And then some extra wrenches and some extra stuff. Open this up. So then here I got my grinder. Some extra tools from Harbor Freight. And there's not a Harbor Freight on the island. I wish there was. 
but I have my uh, ball joint kit. I think it was like 200 bucks or so, but it works good for bearings, like in your uh, hubs, and uh, obviously ball joints, kind of like a C-clamp, it works like that. You figure out which one of these fit your bearings or your ball joints, and you just kind of clamp it down and like it pushes it out, so basic rundown. If you know what I'm talking about, it makes sense. If you don't, I might do a video on me doing something like that later on. Or if you're interested, I'll just figure something out and go through it for you. Um, got my funnels, got my uh, car jacks back there, as you can see. Got my uh, dent puller right there. I don't know why that's on the ground, I just saw that. Um, got my ciphering hose for like bad antifreeze or whatnot, pump on it. This toolbox I love, it was like 300 bucks, I think, from, uh, from Lowe's, actually. No, actually, this is from Home Depot. So I went and picked it up. Got my mechanic slide on the side. It's got the plug-ins down the side of this. Got my extra speaker. Got that speaker. Got my torch. And here in Hawaii, I didn't see this in the States. If I did, I didn't pay attention to it. But here, I know, obviously, this is where you put your oil. It has, like, shredded cardboard and a plastic trash bag-looking thing inside this box. And the uh, shredded cardboard will soak your oil up, and you're able to throw this directly into the trash crazy i never heard of that until i got here i've got the key to this obviously but this is the big drawer on top and this toolbox actually comes with the rubber mat down here it keeps stuff from sliding around so we're starting on this side you got your uh hose bands uh this could be a uh, this uh, i ended up buying this exactly for that truck actually i bought it for a honda civic um but i need to get the little clips out of the bearings or um, out of the hubs to get the bearing off. But I've got this to here, different things in the engine block if I need to. Got my O-rings, uh, got gasket makers, RTV, uh, thread tape, um, tap and die set. I've got my gloves, got two different torque wrenches. I don't know why the cards are in here, but I got cards on it, I don't know. Got my uh, air tools for the air compressor, magnet, chisels another magnet glasses zip ties zip ties are always nice for a mechanic I'll start down the left side so we got my ratchet wrenches the craftsman got some uh, punches we got my uh, snap-on drawer still working on that collection stuff's expensive and I got my seat clamps here and some different kinds of uh, uh, pliers down here is like basic catch-all drawer for tools so i've got my mat that goes across your fender to keep it from getting greasy this is for my enclosed trailer that it's curtain and storage i've got my uh pipe wrench i've got my uh mallet I've got my sledge and then i have my pulley puller one right there and then there's one right there you can see I've got my cold code reader from AutoZone. It's down here. Uh, I've got my timing light. Put it in here. My the bigger wrenches from Snap-on. One and three quarters, two and one eighths, and then a one and five eighths. And then I got a pickle fork right there. It's good for your ball bearings too. Go to the right side. Got all my sockets, all of his craftsmen. Um, and then I've got the uh, an extra set of shorter wrenches. These come in handy a lot, guys. And then my box in wrenches, extra deep wells, and these guys. I've got two things with this. Got the standard and metric. So I'm gonna show you these real quick. Put these up. So, for those of you that don't know what these are, these guys are little wrenches that go on your ratchets. So, to put your sockets there, you grab whatever size you might need at 12, I guess. You just stick it on there like that. And now you're able to basically have a wrench that ratchets the open end. These guys come in handy a lot, especially for those hard to reach places where you can't get a box in, but you can get an open end. And you're just having to take it on and off just every time. This ratchets it, so it makes it very nice. 
these chips backwards. I don't know why that's like that. I guess I was in a hurry one day and just did it. So bear with me back. I try to keep it nice and neat. That way, if I am in a hurry or something, I, can just, I know where things are. And this drawer's got um, extra sockets. My notebook for notes, obviously, and then tape measure. You never know. And then screwdrivers of different sizes. And then all my extensions of different sizes. This drawer is my power drills and stuff. Got a um, air ratchet right there. Or, yeah. And then a drill. Another, uh, here's the batteries. Extra batteries. And then, um, all of that. And then, uh, over here I got my two and a half ton jack. I had this thing a while, guys, so. But this thing works great still. And then, um, it'll lift any vehicle. I haven't seen anything I have it yet. Do you see wood's peeking out down there? You never know when you need wood, so. Got that wood down there. And then also, never mind the junk, but I've got some fluids over there that's gonna help us out too for this so as you see the mechanic setup I just ran through that so there's that so I need you guys to let me know if you guys want to see mechanic videos of whatever whether there's an oil change or something crazy let me know if you all want to see some of that um, and then of course I'm still gonna figure out what I need to do to record these yards like I said it's just Sometimes it's easier to just knock out the yards and go. Um, Cause by the time I get the camera set up and everything, get the lawn stuff done, I can be done with the yard and actually moving on. Cause these yards are small, like small, small. And then, yeah. But I have a better chance of actually making better videos with uh, the Bahala Garage anyways. But I might do like a yard a weekend. That way I can still do something and post something for lawn care. Cause if you're like me I, at night i just want to like relax sit down and i'm watching lawn care videos you know it's something satisfying about watching grass get cut you know an overgrown yard down to a nice looking yard i don't know something about that same thing with the cars like something's broke you fix it i don't know satisfaction i guess i don't know but just let me all know or let me know what y'all want to see and then um we'll do it so i'll give you one more look at the trailer I think you've seen enough of the mechanic stuff for right now. And then uh, I'll get this edited and posted and let y'all watch it. Thanks for hanging out with me today.